Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So as you can see we have the Acad Socks tarpaulin here because we'll be talking about Acad Socks technical requirements. But before we will proceed with that discussion, Please do not forget to click like and subscribe to this channel and if you want to, to be notified for more videos to come in the future, please do not forget to click the bell button beside the subscribe word. So okay, let's start. We have five technical requirements in Akatsak. Okay, first, we need to have a camera. Yung camera na clear, yung camera na mm, hindi dark because we are teaching learners from other country so it is really important na makita ka clearly ng student mo because there is a saying that says teachers are the best visual aid so how would you be a how would you be the best visual aid if your student cannot see you so your camera must be clear and for the camera i suggest you to buy the Logitech C270. Second, we need to have a headset with a microphone. Okay, so um, why do we need to have that? Because your student needs to hear you and of course you need to hear your student. So we need to have a headset with a microphone and you need to make sure that your headset is working and your microphone is working before you proceed with your class okay so i suggest also i'm currently using the logitech but i suggest you to have a a headset with a microphone na merong mm, noise cancellation feature or noise reduction feature if maingay yung environment niyo pero pag hindi naman maingay yung environment niyo hindi mo naman kailangan yun as long as you need to make sure na hindi talaga maingay because maging sagabal siya sa klase mo. So, it is either bibili ka ng, noise, ng, my, ng my noise cancellation feature or hindi. So, pwede lang dyan sa dalawa. As long as you will not buy if and only if hindi maingay yung environment nyo. Pero pag maingay siya, you need a noise cancellation uh, headset na may noise cancellation feature or my noise reduction feature. So, that's very important. Third, a laptop or a desktop computer. In your laptop or desktop computer, you need to make sure that your laptop has 4 GB RAM. And if you want to teach in class, in your um, computer must have 3,000 CPU scores. So, hmm, saan ko ba ang CPU score ng aking laptop or desktop computer? So, I will show that to you. Okay, so I am sharing my screen with you so you can see how to um, how to find or how to know, I mean, how to know the CPU score of your laptop or desktop computer. So first, you need to search for control panel right here. Control panel. So you just need to click that one and this will show. Click this system and security. Then click system. I'm sorry. So, itong nakikita nyo, yung processor, tapos may nakakalagay Intel R Core TM i3-600-6U CPU at, at 2 GHZ. So, yan yung ilalagay mo dito sa oh. Yan. Dito sa cpubenchmarking.net. So, yung info na yun, yun yung ilalagay mo dito. So, Google mo na tayo. And you just need to search for CPU benchmark. That's it. And you click this one. Passmark CPU benchmarks list of benchmark CPUs. So, click mo yan. At saka yung information na nandito sa processor. Yan. Yan yung ilalagay natin dito. For example, we have Intel. Ayan, nakita mo na agad. So, ilan nga yun? We have Intel i3. Hmm. 
Ilagay na lang natin I3. Pwede rin dumiretso ka na ng I3. Yan. Tapos, di ba na yun? Intel Core I3 606U. So, hanapin mo lang dyan. Malapit na. Ayan. So, ito. 606U. So, you enter and then click Find CPU. Ayan. So, itong first column, yan yung CPU score mo. Itong first column. Ito, ito. Pagkatapos ng um, information niya dito, itong nasa uh, stawa, sabihin na natin ikalawang column. Ikalawang column. Okay? So, yan yung CPU score mo. So, yung CPU score ko is 3089. So, therefore, I am fit to teach in class in. Okay, so ganun lang siya. Okay? So, just visit this site, this link. So, why do we need a 3000 CPU score? Yung laptop or desktop computer na may 3000 CPU scores. Why do we need to have it? Because, in class N, kailangan mo ng 3000 CPU scores para makapagturo ka sa class N. If your laptop or desktop computer hindi siya umabot ng 3000 CPU scores, that's fine. You can still teach in QQ and Skype. Pero may kakilala ako na ano, or may, nakak may, kakilala, may kakilala ako at may nakita din ako sa comment section sa YouTube before na yung hindi naman umabot ng 3,000 CPU scores pero nagpagturo pa rin siya ng class in smoothly. So I think it really depends upon the brand, the quality of your laptop or desktop computer. Or your laptop computer. So it really depends really upon... It really depends upon the quality of the product. So, ganun. May iba rin nakakapagturo pa rin kahit walang 3,000 CPU scores. But to be sure, you need to have 3,000 CPU scores. To be sure. Okay? Para makapagturo ka sa class in. Which is, ang ganda kayo ng class in kasi may ano ka, virtual blackboard. So, diba? Super nice mag-teach sa class in. Fourth, you need to have a stable internet connection. I cannot suggest any strong, uh, fast internet service provider because it really depends upon the area. Sa amin, ma malakas yung globe. Okay? Malakas din yung smart. But, yung binili ko is globe. So, depende lang yun sa'yo. And, um, you need to have 3 Mbps for download speed and 0.80 for, up for upload speed. So, where uh, would you test your internet speed, all you have to do is to visit www.speedtest.net Nakalagay rin yun, yung link sa description So, itas mo yung internet mo 3 Mbps download speed and 0.80 upload speed If kaya siya if na reach yan ng internet um, speed mo so you're good to go And the Oh, anyway, before we proceed, I would like to share something about internet speed. You know, before, when I bought um, my the one that I'm using today as the prepaid Wi-Fi, when I bought it at first, the signal was very, like, slow. I mean, you know, the speed, the internet speed was very slow. Like, meron lang siyang 2 Mbps for download speed and 1 Mbps naman yung upload speed. So, okay na rin. Pero, yung problema ko yung download speed kasi 2 Mbps lang siya yun. Kailangan kasi 3 Mbps. Yun yung standard. So, I remembered so, I remembered yung tip na sinabi sa akin ng boyfriend, sinabi sa amin ng boyfriend ng co-teacher ko before. If gusto mo raw makakuha ng mas malakas na signal, kailangan mo ilagay yung gadget mo or yung modem sa ilalim. Because yung throw down ng tower ng signal is pa ganito. So therefore, kung nasa ilalim siya, mas malakas siya. So I've tried that. And you know what? The download speed went so fast. Like 12 Mbps yung download speed. At yung upload speed naman niya ay 6 Mbps. So tumaas talaga siya. And up until now, malakas pa rin yung... Um, fast pa rin yung, ano niya, internet speed ko. Because, yun na, nilagay ko yung modem sa ilalim. So, I think effective naman siya. So, if mahina yung signal mo, you can try that tip. Wala namang mawawala kung susubukan nyo, ba? Kung hindi effective, di hindi. Pero sa akin, effective siya. Okay? So, let's proceed to the fifth one. 
The last one is a wired connection. Yung modem nyo na binili nyo, kailangan meron siyang LAN cable na we use to connect from your computer to the modem. Direct connection. So, kailangan may cable para wala kang kaagaw sa internet. Yung direct kang kakakuha ng internet connection. So, that's very important. Okay? Now, may nagtatanong din sa inyo if Hala, gusto kong bilhin na yun per after na pag nakapasa na ako, pag sure na ako na makakapagtrabaho na ako sa akad. So, kasi sayang naman yung mga binili ko tapos hindi naman pala ako makukuha. So, yun yung question you right. If it is really um, required to buy all of those technical requirements before proceeding to the initial interview, I would say yes. Because initial interview, kasama na dun ang technical check. So, Para makapasa kasi ng initial interview, your um, the technical requirements must all be present and kailangan okay siya lahat. Um, in your initial interview, okay lang naman hindi ka muna bumili ng my noise cancellation um, headset for as long as na yung environment hindi maingay. So, I would say yes, you really need to buy all of those technical requirements before proceeding to the initial interview because kasama na sa initial interview yung technical check. Okay, so it's very important to have those technical requirements first. And if you are really willing to be part of, to have an online English job under ACADSOC, so you really need to take risk. Yes, you could say na, for example, if hindi makamakuha, hindi ka naman magsasayangan eh, kasi magagamit mo naman lahat ng binili mo. And you can try other companies as well. But do not be afraid to take risks because if you really want this, you would, okay? So do not be afraid and just pray for it. God will give you what you deserve and always remember that God has a lot of plans for us and it is always for the best. So I think you don't have to worry, you just have to pray about all the things that you want to do in your life step by step. You guide ka talaga ni God. Kung hindi to para sa'yo, well, you can have other companies. Kung hindi naman talaga to ang online English job is not for you, well, God will guide you as long as you will pray, okay? So, um, I hope you have learned something from this video. Again, let us just summarize. Camera, headphone with a microphone. Third is laptop or desktop computer. Fourth, we need to have a stable internet connection. And fifth, LAN cable. So that's very important. Okay, so those are the technical requirements here in Akadzak. And I have, and I hope you have learned something. And if you have any questions regarding the technical requirements or any other questions that you want to ask to me, you can um, write it or type it in the comment section below. And I would be very active or I would do my best to answer that question. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you again in my next vlog. And don't forget again to leave all your questions sa comment section. I will do my best to answer those questions because I know may mga tanong pa kayo na hindi ko pa nasagot. So just leave it in the comment section and I will really try my best to answer it. Thank you so much again for watching this video and see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye!